getting in the lymph. Something is getting inside the system to create toxicity. But you know what? It's not quite that simple. It's pretty simple, but not quite that simple. I just read an article here. Uh, dying cells regulate the immune system. How do you like that? Nature Immunology. This is an uh, article published online in the journal Nature Immunology yesterday. Dying cells regulate the immune system. You guys, that is so important. I'm going to take this call, and then I'll tell you why. We've got, uh, we've got a guy waiting on here for a while here. Grant in Texas. What's up, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Grant. Grant, Grant. Did I get Grant here? Let me get Grant. Grant, you there? Yeah, can you hear me okay? I hear you okay now. What's going on, All Grant? Right. Well, I, uh, I'm 32. Yes. I currently take up to 55 supplements daily, most of them whole food supplements. Are you strategic and about it? Do you have a strategy for doing well, it? Well, I, um, I take them in the morning. Most no, of not how you take them. The not how you take I them. Take no, Grant. Grant, not how you take them. Do you have a strategy for the ones you're taking? Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah, um, well, I have a rare uh, calcium deficiency. I okay. take some for that. And I take some for my high blood pressure. And then I take another set for my, uh, you know, just a- anxiety and, you know, flash depression. Okay, gotcha. So, okay, that, that, that makes sense. Now, now, how can I help you? What's your question? Well, um, I, I'm... I'm my question is mostly concerning the high blood pressure. I uh, I've been keeping a diary for the last six months. Nice. And what are you finding yeah, out? To, what kind of information are you finding? Well, my my diastolic number hasn't really changed much. It's it's been staying around like one one. It started off at one thirty five, and then it actually went down to around one twenty five on average. Okay. And my top number went from like one ninety to down to like on average like one sixty five. And, so and the other. No- 165, did you say? Right. That's where I'm at right now on average. That's pretty high. And then what's, yes. the, system, what's the lower number? Uh, it's averaging around one, uh, 120, 120. Okay, here's the deal, yo. Here's the deal. I don't like, the whole food supplements are great, and they're really clever, and they're really, you know, theoretically a good idea, but you don't get anywhere near enough nutrients in them. Because it's just not, especially the, the electrical nutrients, especially the B's and the C's. So while it's all cute and wonderful to use whole food, and I, and I, I get the logic, if you really want to dose yourself with, with some powerful uh, doses, and it really is about the doses when it comes to these things, you can't get it from whole food supplements, sorry to say. Okay. However, they're good. I don't want to tell you that the logic is not right. So what you want to do is you want to start using some of the electrical nutrients in greater abundance. If, this is what I would be doing. The B-complex in much higher uh, concentrations than you're going to get in a whole food supplement. That would be your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Also, there's an extremely important relationship between sugar and cortisol and anxiety and blood pressure. So keeping your sugar down and using nutrients that support sugar metabolism, best is just to restrict your intake of them. But when you go, when you, you're going to also need nutrition for supporting the processing of those. And that's, again, your electrical nutrients. And then uh, uh, not to say I'm not diminishing the importance of omega-3 fats, your ultimate EFAs, especially omega-3 fats, have a really important role to play in anti-anxiety. The omega-3 fats and DHA and EPA for the brain, for anxiety issues, for blood pressure issues, just ridiculously valuable. So that would be your ultimate EFAs, eating fish, fish oil, that kind of thing, vitamin E. Always do more vitamin E when you start supplementing with EFAs, as I was saying yesterday. But vitamin E also will help. However, this is the most important thing I'm going to tell you, okay? Everything, I'm not marginalizing what I just said, but this is the most important thing, all right? Between anxiety and high blood pressure, you've got a classic case of a body in distress. So calming your body down is key. Now, the supplements are going to help. That's one of the reasons they're so valuable. But calming the body down through oxygenation, number one, is key. And number two, through any kinds of relaxation techniques that you can think of. That means hot water, hot tubs, hot showers, Reiki, massage, naps. You know, we talk about this all the time. Anything you could do to calm the body down. As far as oxygen goes, practice slow, deep breathing. It's awesome. It sounds like you have a blood pressure cuff, and that's awesome because you can use biofeedback. All right, you can sit on the couch and, and, and see how doing things like deep breathing, for example, or waking when you wake up from a nap, or after you eat, you could see how all of these things affect your blood pressure. You follow me? 
Yeah. And when your, when your blood pressure spikes, that's incredibly valuable information. And when your blood pressure drops, likewise. So if you notice that your blood pressure drops and you're sitting on the couch, you can actually, you can actually learn to control your breathing. I should say, you can learn to control your blood pressure by controlling your breathing when you're waiting in line at the bank. You can train yourself using these biofeedback techniques. You can see, you can see yeah, what bodily yeah, actions. One. What, what bodily actions you're doing, what behaviors you're doing that affect your blood pressure, and you can train yourself to lower your blood pressure at will. That's called biofeedback. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you, do you think there's any uh, uh, placking of the arteries going uh, on? There's yeah, but it's nothing. F yeah, I'm sure there is. You're, I, well, I've you're been, human. I was consulting you're, with a chiropractor, and they recommended Rena food for the kidneys no. and a liver. Nonsense. Nonsense. No. Nonsense. Quote me on it. Have your chiropractor come on the air. We'll talk to him. You don't need any of these things, you know, and I don't even know what that is. It's probably a supplement of some kind, right? Uh, yeah, it's another whole food supplement. Yeah, they, uh, they dude. You got a detox Grant, kidney. No, That'll be you don't it. need it. You don't need it. You need the basics. And yes, you do have plaque in your artery because you're American. You're subsisting on the standard American diet and your body's not designed to do that. Plaque is an inflammatory condition of the blood vessel or the result of an inflammatory condition of the blood vessels. And that's just what happens to us as we get older. Is it significant enough to be causing your problems? Unlikely. Possible, of course, but unlikely. More than likely, at the age of 32, you're dealing with a chronic kind of stressful issue on the body. I would, just from the sound of it, Grant, I would say that it's partially what you're eating and what you're not eating, and partially your emotional and mental and spiritual aspects as well. You follow me? I follow. Yes. Okay, so it's not only physical here. There's other dimensions. When you have high blood pressure, and you and yours is pretty high, and uh, and uh, what was the other thing you were telling me? Uh, uh, the anxiety issues. What, what what's that's telling me is there's multiple dimensions of distress going on in the body, not just physiological, but also emotional, psychological, and mental, and those need to be addressed. And I don't talk about it anywhere near enough, but you know what? One day I'm going to do a show where I just talk about that. In fact, that should be my show because that really is what it's about, you guys. We talk about vitamins and, and supplements and food, but it's spiritual, mental, and emotional first and foremost, and then it's physical. Now, can you induce these kinds of things by just depriving your body of nutrients and starving to death? Yes, obviously you can. But for most of us, the, the bulk of our distress, that is, that's a key word, distress, because there's also eustress, which is good stress, EU stress. That's another distinction, by the way, distress versus eustress. The bulk of our distress is spiritual, mental, and emotional. I don't know how much clearer I could be. And that's, I'm telling you this from seeing thousands upon thousands of patients and me in my own life uh, over the course of decades. I didn't mean to, to beat you up on that, Grant, but that's an no, important it's okay. thing to I just, consider. I really don't want to take 55 supplements. You don't need them. You don't need them. Get on the Healthy Star Pack. Start controlling your sugar. Practice your deep breathing techniques. Use spiritual, mental, and emotional strategies to relax the body and reduce distress. Thanks for your call, bro. Got to go. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com.